she's gonna get hung up, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I'm probably gonna get hung up. And I'm definitely. You're gonna get hung up. Yeah. Okay. Hey there, my name is Dewey Jones. I'm a Colorado off-roader, and what we do on this channel is we film off-road trail guides, mostly of beautiful Colorado and Utah trails. However, I am currently in North Carolina, and I'm here with my mom's Jeep Liberty. It's a 2005. It is now my Jeep Liberty. It is a shakedown run, though, so that is uh, making me a bit nervous. We'll talk more about that on the trail. Let's get out there. We're going to do Hurricane Creek today. Now, this is not Hurricane Creek, but this does look like a water crossing. It's just too deep of a water crossing for this Liberty at its current state, but we're going to have plenty of them today. But we're going to start by taking this little bridge and this area is called Pigeon Crossing. We're going to try to get to the trail, but it was just a beautiful little area that anyone can get to. And at least it was something I could get the Liberty to in case today does not go well. So you really got to make a tight turn off that highway to get to here. That's uh, wild. All right, guys, we are starting the shakedown run of the Jeep Liberty. I'm in two wheel drive right now. We are heading towards Hurricane Creek. This is apparently the established way to go. I'm gonna mostly show outside video on this video. It's not gonna be a full trail guide because this is a shakedown run. Nice, easy drive. Man, having an automatic off-road, so ridiculously easy. I don't think this is a water crossing. I mean, it's a little bit sloppy, but still two-wheel drive. Now, I just met two really nice people. They had a built-up truck, but they said it gets rougher, so we're, we're good. We're gonna have some rougher terrain. They were a little nervous about this Jeep Liberty, but this Jeep Liberty is trail rated. Guys that have watched this channel know what the Renegades, the Cherokee Trailhawks can do, all that kind of stuff. And I'm excited and I'm hoping that Jeep has integrated some of its traction control that like the KL Cherokee has into this, even if it's a rudimentary design, but we're gonna see. And I'm really excited about the water crossings. I'm in first gear in the automatic. I will probably put it into four high soon, but this is really easy for it, but eh, it's good enough for four high. So let's, let's do that. My dad just texted me, is the car working? Yes, dad, the car is working. Rock rails are fine. Hey, side steps are fine. They're tucked in better. Well, it's about time. Now this test is gonna be mud. We'll see how it does.
All right, guys, I have to be responsible here. I gotta tell you guys, it is never good to go off-roading by yourself, especially when you are doing a shakedown run of a 17-year-old Jeep. The things to take away, though, for this video is I know that this uh, trail is traffic enough that I should be able to get help should something happen. I even know I have two Jeeps behind me that are gonna be looking out for me. They're coming up later tonight, so if I'm still on here, I'll be able to get some help. But so far, this Jeep's doing awesome, but that's just one of those things. I also do have intermittent cell phone service on this trail uh, with the Verizon, and I am making note of places that I could hike back to get service, but this trail really isn't that bad. I don't see that we're gonna have any issues on it, but uh, let's keep going and seeing what else we can find. I know there's more water crossings. Hopefully there's some things I can keep working and seeing what this Jeep needs to do. slipped a little bit um, didn't need much additional force for it but that just kind of gives you an idea of what you gotta do it up in now this is a rocky area let's see the issue I have with that was I was hitting those frames for the side steps which I need to get rid of I should have taken them off before I did this trail I was just want to see what hits that's what it looks like from inside it's really not I mean it's bad but it's not I've never wheeled an automatic before, and I have wheeled open differentials before, but it's been a long time. So I'm having to learn how to do it, but I know this doesn't look as steep and rutted out as it does uh, in real life, but it is pretty steep and it's loose. Now I could have probably done that in one swoop with faster momentum, but I think the Liberty is gonna do awesome with a rear locker. That would be sweet. Cause all I would have done there is put on the rear locker, kind of like how the KL Cherokee does it and just, crawled up it i also don't think i have some of the uh you know traction control systems that the newer jeeps have but that makes it a good trail guide vehicle you know what it takes for me to get it across the trail that was fun This looks like an opportunity to three wheel. So let's see what the Liberty does. Now go. I don't think that showed anything, but whatever.
right now I'm at the camping spot by the second major water crossing. This is a beautiful trail. Now I have been the smallest vehicle I have seen on this trail. I just saw a built land cruiser. I mean fully built land cruiser. Rooftop tent, 35s. But they looked like they were having a good time. They didn't stop though. It would've been cool. I would've gotten some video of them here. But I was flying the drone around. But I love it. This is a great trail. Um, quite easy though. But I've already ripped off one of the side steps of the Liberty. And uh, I've had to kind of adjust my wheeling a little bit. The traction control systems of the Wrangler, at least modern Wranglers, the JK was a 2012, the JL's a 2021. Um, I wouldn't need lockers. Uh, you don't need lockers here, but I wouldn't need um, to readjust. I would just crawl right up it. But that just shows you how good all these modern vehicles are. And uh, that's really good. I mean, I, I like it. It just needs some uh, little goodies and that thing's gonna be a beast. Now there, there, there is this old abandoned bus uh, along the trail. It's actually right after that second water crossing. Doesn't look like this would be a good place to camp out, but it does look like a good place to explore. It's really cool. This is definitely a pretty old bus. I can't tell when it was made. I'm gonna guess the 50s, but maybe one of you guys out there has a better idea. But let's keep going. I'm excited to see more of this trail. The Liberty had no issues with this, but it's definitely muddy and slick, but the Liberty just crawled right up it. So here we go. My other side step came off somewhere and I just trekked down here looking for it. I don't want to leave anything on the trail, but couldn't find it. But I know my friends now in the Wranglers are coming up this way. So I have a feeling they'll pick it up for me because they knew they pointed that out. They had side steps on there. And I told them I was using them as makeshift rock rails, but did not expect to keep them. But I also did not expect to leave them on the trail. Hopefully they see it and pick it up for me. If not, I'll come back on the trail and take care of it. shows you it is a pretty big hole.
It's definitely though fun wheeling up in again. It has been over 10 years since I've wheeled an open differential Jeep and I definitely have missed it. I can definitely tell I need to work on my, my skill set with open and uh, that's why I'm really glad I have this thing. You got lockers, it just makes everything easy. And even though I don't use them a lot, my new algorithms in the, in the way that the brakes work, the brake lock differentials, make it work really good. Now, I would never say probably get by without lockers on harder trails using those, but they sure make it so I don't need lockers a lot of times. I am over the moon about this Jeep. I can't wait to really make it look like a Colorado mall crawler, but it's doing great stock. Right, guys now I ran into my Jeep friends and they're gonna show me the good stuff so I'm gonna follow them and we'll get some more stuff but I'm very happy with the way the Jeep is going and uh, it's gonna be fun so we'll get some of the camera of these guys in front of us and then uh, we'll get some more outside stuff of the good stuff In this section of the video, can the Liberty keep up with the Wranglers? And so far, it is easily keeping up with them, but we got some harder stuff coming up, which I'll get some outside shots of. This is that first little root climb that's on the video, a lot of the videos where you're looking at the X on X video. This is that first one. Jeep get pulled on its shakedown run. There's, hey, there's, that one's the easy one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I had a great angle for that one and the GoPro died. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, I don't know. This one right here is a little trick. She's gonna get hung up. I'm gonna tell you, I'm probably gonna get hung up. You're gonna get hung up, okay? It's the pitches, the rock placements, and yeah. the clearance. Okay. It yeah. all works against each other. She hates. Oh, that was worse? Yeah. Good. <laughs> she hates it. Not too bad. Definitely having to look at angles and predict them better. Um, I'm happy with these ATs. They're doing really well. Uh, I'm pushing them pretty good uh, with this smaller vehicle, but they're performing well. So I like that. Hopefully I'm making a good video for you. This is not our typical type of video. 
eventually I do a trail guide, but this isn't going to be a trail guide. This is going to be uh, can the Liberty handle Hurricane Creek? Hopefully I won't be uh, hiking out of this one today. Okay. Hell, I might not be able to get on that damn log right there. You may be whipping my ass out. Got him on the green through the mud and some kind of clickbaity thing but come on guys if I did you really think I'd take the liberty through that not yet later on yes The stock Liberty. It's definitely not easy for the stock Liberty in spots, but it's also not difficult either. I mean, you need the driver's skill, I guess. You know, I'm gonna have to. I have to adjust my tactics when it gets hung up. But I'm also not wheeling it to the best. Of, you know, like a, a good Liberty driver can outwheel me easily because they know how this vehicle responds and how it works. Okay, yeah, this thing is definitely not slipping in drive. Stopped and then it went. I don't know why it doesn't work in first, but it works in drive. I'm pretty sure that a stock Liberty with good tires, rock rails, and skid plates can do probably all of Fun Trek's moderate trails and easier difficult trails. I really do think I could do some difficult trails uh, that are easier, like Saints John. This could easily do. Um, however, I think it can do harder difficult trails. It just needs maybe a lift. I think Wind Rock sessions are due. I think uh, I'm probably going to build it here in East Tennessee. Hopefully I can find a shop that will do it and uh, we'll get it into good shape. All right, guys, this is the end of the trail. This is called Max Patch. It's pretty awesome, but this was not a trail guide. This was all about the Jeep Liberty, and i very happy with it. I can't wait to get more work done to it and make this thing a beast. I'm working on that old steamboat. I learned to oh, yeah, on no, that no, one. No, 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 no. I was looking. It's not getting strapped on its first day. I was looking. <laughs> No. Like, one of us either got turned around or snatch strap. I gotta prove to my mom it's a Jeep. She would never let me wheel it. No. Yeah. You have followed these two, mom should be happy. Yeah. <laughs> 